Hey guys, it's Mike, Narc Selected Customs. What you see here is a 96 two valve, 4.6 liter uh, Ford Mustang engine. If you've been subscribing to the channel for a little while, you saw Project Nameless. If you haven't, go back and watch those videos. Uh, basically, we took a 2000 model GT that had this engine and automatic trans and we tore it apart for an LS swap. Um, it'll get turbo, but it's got, uh, in the first 12 episodes is me putting the suspension together. So we ended up with this motor that no one would buy. Uh, we sold the transmission off the back for $100. Um, so basically I'm gonna pull this whole thing apart and we're gonna use it for trophies uh, for the 2018 season of uh, car shows and car events and things like that. So we also are part of a, a, a group called The Circuit Charity with Horsepower. So we use that as a platform to help local Northwest Arkansas charities. Um, a lot of kid stuff. Uh, we help the Northwest Arkansas Children's Shelter. We help the Children's Advocacy Center of Benton County. We help a, a group called Ride to Breathe uh, for a uh, to raise awareness for cystic fibrosis, uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of charities that we help with that. So this will really come in handy, um, and especially since no one would buy anything off of it. So we're gonna have fun, and we're gonna tear it apart, and I'm gonna use it as uh, as basically a learning experience for me, and uh, maybe some learning experience for you too. So let's dive in i'm going to go ahead and get my tools and everything over here and that way we can get everything set up to get it all torn apart so all right here we go so we will be saving a couple pieces from this for uh for our buddy named titus who is running the uh he's running a 94 lincoln limo in the gambler in the arkansas gambler 500 so he's getting the alternator and probably the injectors uh, and rails, mainly because we won't need them. And uh, I feel like that's probably a good option to go to him because, <laughs> I mean, if you're going to spend 500 miles in a, in a 94 Lincoln limo with your family, you, you've got to get some parts at a really good deal. So. All right, so I'm going to keep pulling the, the harness apart here. I thought that would make it easier to sell, but it didn't. Nobody wanted it, so. So, basically unplugged everything when I went to pull it out of the car. So it gave me a complete engine harness with transmission hookups and everything. And full power lines there and everything. So I'm going to keep this one. Put it on the pile of the Mustang stuff and then, I mean, that's how you pull things apart. Because hopefully this is worth a little bit of money on eBay. We'll find out though. If it's anything like this damn motor, it ain't worth shit. So, that's about 15 minutes of work right there. This is kind of fun. <laughs> it's been a long time since so I got to tear something down that I didn't care about. Um, so, got the intake or got the throttle body off. Got the alternator off, about to take the fuel rails off, and then probably the valve covers so we can get a closer look at all that brain damage that goes on in there. All right, so I've got all the bolts out of the intake and out of the water pump cross flow here. I'm gonna lift up, see if I can get this thing out all at once. <laughs> and it will, that's exciting. Move this out of the way. We don't need that anymore for sure. Sweet. So, pull the full intake. Whoop, left one bolt in. Kind of a strange looking thing, but I'm sure they know what they're doing more than I do. So, I'll pull the fuel rails off with the injectors, call our buddy Titus, and let him know that they're ready. So, 
pretty awesome. I'm gonna spin the camera around. Be done in here. Now what's funny is this motor and trans was pulled to replace a 2000 model Mustang GT engine and trans but the car was an automatic car or the car was a manual car from the factory and they put they tried to put this one in in place of it and I don't know if they tried to replace the computer or not but it obviously would not run and they got tired of it so all right on to the next step okay so get all the bolts out so now it's time to pull this valve cover off and see if someone missed out on a good deal. Woo! Look how nice that looks. Man. Somebody missed out on a really good deal. I feel like this motor was a good motor. The computer just wouldn't let it run. So... This side's the same way. Oil stinks a little bit though. All right, now time for the fun stuff. Well, I think I'm probably done for tonight. Um, got down to where I need to pull the balancer off and I just don't have the want to to do that. It's about 2 a.m. and I just don't care. So got the uh got the cams ready they all look really nice um i feel like somebody missed a really good deal on this motor at one point we had priced it at 200 dollars with the trans and engine harness so but i mean really nothing crazy on the on the rockers pulled out the push rods if i can get this one out again they all look really good, super clean, no weird wear marks, so, so it'll make for some really good parts, and uh, I guess that's it for this part of the teardown. We'll get to the rest of it as we go through the next few weeks.